So I'm installing a hanger rod in this space here. I've got a vertical wall here, and then I've got a wall coming in at uh, 45 degrees here. I've uh, made up this uh, wooden flange here that's going to hold the rod uh, with two screws into the drywall on this side. But on this side, uh, the wall slopes at 45 degrees, so I've got to, I need to make another one of these to go here, but I need to drill in at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to go show you how to do that right now. So I've moved into the shop and I've, I've got another one of these uh, flanges that I've made here. I've got it mounted in this jig here. Basically it's a piece of plywood that's got a two by four that was cut at a 45 degree angles and another piece of a two by four uh, glued and screwed on the back just to give me a lot of support there. So this is held at the 45 degree angles. And I've also got two holes drilled for the uh, for the screws that will mount into the drywall, just like this one. And I've got a center hole here, but I've also put in a small drill bit to locate the actual center so I can tell where the center is. So I'm going to drill down here at 45 degree angles. I've got two clamps holding this down. And what I can do is I can loosen the clamp slightly and use a hammer to just sort of tap the... Uh, Tap the, peat, the plate here into position, and then when I get it like I want it, where it's uh, where I'm happy with the, that it's dead center, then I tighten up these clamps a little more, and it's ready to go. But you notice I have a small drill bit in here. This is just to locate the center because uh, I'm going to be using this bit here. It's a Forstner bit that cuts a very, as you can see, a very clean hole through this uh, wood. And uh, I've got other bits, but I really like these for, for doing some clean holes. So this uh, bit's just in here loosely. I'll just remove it. It was just so I could make the alignment. And then I'm going to install this bit here. Now, you know, my uh, my drill press does have an option. I can loosen this table and tilt it at 45 degrees, but I'd still have to uh, figure out some way to drill through the hole and not hit the plate here. So I'd have to have, to have more wood under it. And then I, I'd also be disturbing my adjustment I'd rather keep this table here dead at 90 uh, and never mess with it and just have jigs like this laying around for when I need to drill in at some angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the, the bit here. It's good to always uh, rotate through and tighten it evenly. It's a pretty big bit. I'll show you, I've got another one here that uh, larger you can see. This is a... Uh, this is what the bit looks like. So it has a uh, cutting teeth and uh, it's gonna cut a very clean hole. This is a large one. This one's smaller, but uh, this one's three quarter, which is the size uh, of this tubing that we're working with. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the drill and begin to sink this hole. I just work it in gradually because first it's only cutting in one little area. You can see some smoke coming off of the wood. It's, uh, you don't want to overheat the bit. So you just uh, gradually work it in there and let it, uh, let it cut and cool too. And you definitely want to use some clamps. You wouldn't want to try to hold that with your hand. Because if it got loose, it could really hurt you. It's a very sharp bit. And uh, you see the smoke coming off of it. It's got a ways to go. I can look down inside the hole and... I think I'm through the entire uh, work piece now. So I can shut off the, the drill there.
here's another angle. You can see how the hole is uh, drilled down in. So now we'll take it back up there and see how that's going to work out. So I'll remove this off the jig. I'm going to leave these in place for now in case I need to put it back on there. But there's just a single screw in the back here. Here we go. So it's cut in uh, almost all the way through. I think that'll be, uh, be plenty for what I'm doing. Now we'll take it in and see if it, how it works uh, in the room. So here in the room, I've got the, this flange here at the 45 degree side, and this one's the 90 degree. So all I need to do is uh, paint these and let that dry, and then I can mount this up on the wall and uh, call that finished.